By seven to nine months, your baby has become a little man and is about to reach some of the most exciting motor milestones of the first year. Crawling on his belly, classic crawling, and then maybe even standing up. The period from six to nine months of age is crucial to your baby's psychomotor development. Through early movements, your child experiences depth of space, integrates combined movements that help him develop more mature spinal curves. Relationship with the adult and language skills evolve, so much so that he interacts in an increasingly conscious and willing way. In short, your child is getting really big and getting closer to becoming a little walking hero. But let's go in order. In this video, I will show you what the main stages of your baby's psychomotor development are from six to nine months and how you or you yourself can foster your child's development. In addition, I will give you the red flags, the alarm bells reported by well-known American pediatric associations that may point to a developmental delay in your child at this time. Before we get into the heart of the topic, let me introduce myself. My name is Matteo Silva. I am a neonatal osteopath and founder of Yuli, a maternal infant center in the province of Monzebrianza, in which I collaborate closely with all the main health figures in the field, such as pediatricians, speech therapists, and midwives, visiting only newborns from their first days of life. You can find me online in this YouTube channel, to which I recommend you subscribe now to stay updated on all new videos, on Instagram under the name Osteopath Silva Matteo, and especially on my website, matesilvaosteopata.com, where you will find hundreds of exclusive content and video courses to promote the best psychomotor development of your child from birth to independent walking, created by myself, pediatrician, speech therapist, neuropsychologist, and many other professionals. I'll leave you the link in the description. Now, Let's cut to the chase and see what the progress of your baby's psychomotor development is from six to nine months. But before we do that, let me explain what is meant by psychomotor development. If you are already what it is, you can safely go one minute into the video. The term psychomotor development means an overall growth process of the child that takes you into account both physical and motor development, but also cognitive, social emotional language and communication development to facilitate the parents task of observation we will in fact divide psychomotor development into several sections comprising one postural motor development two social emotional development three language and communication development and four cognitive development this explains why on my website you will not only find video courses created by me, I will talk to you about motor development and postural development and how to successfully reach all the major stages of motor development. My other colleagues, such as the pediatrician, speech therapist, neuropsychologist and many others, will show you how to foster language development, cognitive development and social relational development. Now I will tell you about physical and motor development from six to nine months. From six months of age and up, your baby starts to get serious. Thanks to all the motor activities done in the previous months, your baby should be almost ready to make his first front movements. That is to crawl and or crawl. But that's not all. Usually babies who have started from birth with a proper motor development pathway, what I call from zero to hero, sometime around six to seven and a half months of age should start crawling. The first attempts will occur around the sixth month of life and week by week the baby should learn to move better and better until crawling is perfected over the next month and a half. After crawling or skipping the crawling stage, the baby should learn to get on all fours and crawl. Please note we do not assume that all babies crawl. In fact, there are plenty of babies who skip this motor stage that is critical for motor development and beyond. It is not genetic. It is not because one child is smaller than the other. Children who miss these important motor milestones do so because, albeit unconsciously, their parents have offered few motor activities and are running into frequent postural errors. For example, putting the child in a sitting position too early and for too long. You can find a dedicated YouTube video and two articles on my blog 
In any case, children who have started from an early age on the From Zero to Hero and Tummy Time pathway should learn to get on all fours around seven and a half to eight months and then learn to crawl over the next one to two months. Usually a baby crawls around the eighth month of life and improves over the next month. If your baby still does not crawl, there are special exercises to help your baby crawl. It is always during this period that your baby will then learn to sit independently and after a month or two, the crawler will try to stand up for the first time. During this period, the curves of the spine evolve. And due to the cross movement between upper and lower limbs during crawling, the brain processes more complex skills. At the same rate, the child's fine motor coordination improves through object manipulation and various sensory experiences. Before concluding the chapter on motor development, I want to remind you that these months are crucial to ensuring your little one's proper postural motor development. Many children, due to a lack of motor stimulation or due to incorrect postures unknowingly practiced by their parents, miss important motor milestones such as these. And maybe even walk late and with difficulty. Every parent yourself has the opportunity to ensure perfect postural motor development of your child. From birth to walking, and in the course from zero to hero, I show you practically with hundreds of explanatory videos. How to help your child reach all the major stages of motor development. I'll leave it for you in the link in the description. Now let's move on to talk about the cognitive development of the baby from six to nine months of age. Here is what you can observe. The baby is having more and more fun with the cuckoo game or bossetti, I don't know what name you know them by. These games work on the concept of object permanence that the child begins to develop at this age. In a nutshell, your baby learns to understand that an object continues to exist even when he no longer sees it, even when he hides that object. That's why at this time your baby may look for the things you hide, example a toy under the blanket. Similarly, the child begins to learn about the force of gravity. This is why he drops or throws all toys on the floor. During this period, you will notice a significant improvement in your child's manipulative and fine motor skills. For example, you will notice that he moves things from one hand to the other, concentrating well and studying them in great detail. When he explores objects, he evaluates them carefully with sight, with the given, with his mouth or if with taste. It is no accident that we are in the period of early weaning or rather self-weaning. As for language and communication development from six to nine months of age, here is what you will be able to observe. First and foremost, your baby is becoming extremely competent and aware. He understands the meaning of no. Also during this period, you will see the beginning of la lazione or bubbling. That is the baby's production of equally repeated syllables such as mama mama or da da da. This is why initially, la lazione is called canonical. From about 6 to 9 to 10 months of age, your baby's tongue and mouth movements improve so much that the lalazioni will then become varied. That is, your baby will repeat syllables that are different from each other, like patamada. The stage of lalazioni is important because its quality is a predictive index of what the first little words your baby will say will be like. The richer the lalazione is with different sounds from each other, the better quality of the baby's first words will be. Therefore, it is important that there is an onset of la lazione at the correct time. For example, around six months of age, or in any case, by 11 months. Let it be a la lazione that goes from canonical to varied and then last a few months this course. Let it be loud and frequent. So usually babies, when they lalate, do it very often in nursing moments. When they are on the changing table, when I started by bathing, when they are waking up even with a good volume of voice at the expense of our king. It is precisely within this period, from 6 to 9, 10, 11 months, that the child moves from unintentional to increasingly intentional communication. A sign of this is the fact that he also begins to develop pointing. That is the gesture of pointing. He begins to do this precisely because he develops a strong desire to interact with the parent and demonstrate or request what he sees and what he would like. In addition, the child tries to copy the gestures or sounds of the people he interacts with. As for the development of social and emotional skills, here is what you can observe in your baby. 
from about six to nine months of age. The child may be wary and afraid of strangers by showing shyness or anxious. The child may be a little more attached to parents and cry perhaps when they leave. The child imitates our actions and gestures perhaps of other people during play. The child may have his own favorite games. The child is able to pick up food with his hands in an increasingly precise and coordinated way to bring it to his mouth and eat quite well. Now, I have to tell you that all the skills mentioned so far and the related red flags that I will tell you about in a moment, i.e. the alarm bells of inadequate development are taken from authoritative sources, i.e. the leading American sources and associations of pediatrics. These international associations recommend contacting the doctor, therefore your pediatrician, if the child, one, does not sit up, even helped himself. Two, if he does not, la la does not do, but la la da da da. If he doesn't respond when called by his name, if he seems not to recognize familiar people from strange ones and vice versa, if he doesn't look at a point and object pointing to him, if he can't manipulate objects properly and can't pass a toy from one hand to another. On my website, you will find a blog article and a video in English showing you a psychomotor development. You can find it in the link in the description. With these words, we have come to the end of this informative video. It was indeed a pleasure to create this informative content for you, and I sincerely hope they can be of great help to you in the development of your beautiful baby. If you enjoyed the video, I kindly ask you to leave a like on this video. It costs you nothing, but it is really worth a lot to me. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next video, but especially on my Instagram page, osteopath Lo Silva Matteo and on my website matteosilvaosteopata.com where you can find dozens of in-depth and practical video courses recorded by me from the pediatrician, from the sleep consultant, from the neuropsychologist, from the locopedist that will show you how to foster the best development of your child from pregnancy through the first year of life. See you soon.